but enough of that. We are ready to go for our first middleweight bout of the evening. And again, a fight that I am unbelievably hyped to witness. Yes, it is Erhan Okoroglu against Frederick Vosgrona. Ladies and gentlemen, next up is our fourth professional bout of the evening. Three rounds of five minutes apiece. This middleweight contest will be refereed by Daniel Sharifi. <clears throat> First off, fighting from the red corner, standing tall at 182 centimeters and weighing in at 84 kilos, here tonight representing Denmark, it's Erhan Okurolu! And his opponent, fighting from the blue corner, Standing at 185 centimeters tall and weighing in at 84 kilos. Representing Germany here tonight, it's Frederik Vosgrona! Okay, fighter. You know the rule. 185 pound matchup. Airhand. Okoroglu taking on the man with the mullet. Freddy Vosgrona. Fight business ready. up front, party Fight. in the back, but I'm sure it's going to be business all night long for Boss Crone. But who will be able to employ their strategy? Boss Crone looking for the takedown. Will he pull guard here as he's facing a wrestler? Yeah, not surprising. Boss Crone wants this one in the mat. See if he can get it down. It's a matter of if he's pull the guard. He's shooting on a double here, but Erhan's doing a good job of widening his base and keeping that stuff in that head. There's those elbows. Roglu trying to inflict damage here as Oskroni still targeting that right leg. He might give up his butt up. Got to pull him off the cage here, use a double. You might see him kind of Khabib the legs. We call it Khabib the legs. It's just putting up uh, a triangle on the legs, but Erhan did a good job of getting back. He's going to get dumped back down here. And there you see the Khabib. And some people, could, uh, I guess the other one leg is not trapped. Not that. Not to the center of the back. Not there. Not there. Ref one in the... In the back Final of the column. Head. Hard to tell with all that hair. Over Not on the back. <laughs> Beautiful Viking looking hair though. Well, Scrony just taking his time. Centimeters to a better position. There he Mounted position. The cage. Dig this Dig it. Dig it, brother. Dig it. Perhaps to take the back. Lost Gronick. Ben did a good job of turning it back into him, but he might, yeah, nice double leg off the cage. Now he's in the center of the cage here, doesn't have the... Uh, I see, Aaron does a good job, very good awareness, pulling himself back to the cage to be able to utilize it to get back to his feet. He can do it again. Yes. Okoroglu, obviously not a fish out of water, understands all the elements in the world of grappling. Oh yeah, he's looking really, I mean, he's got to take it out a few times, but he's looking very composed here. He's doing the right things to get back to his feet. Thus, Krone's relentless in staying on him. He might take the back here if he doesn't. He needs that wizard. Yeah, very good job by Aaron. Now, I know, Josh, when you look at Voskroni's his strategy, it seems like it's all kind of sport jiu-jitsu mentality. Because we haven't seen him throw a whole lot of strikes. It's all about just controlling and grappling. How important is it that he utilizes those other elements as we see him throwing a strike there? Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously he's a specialist, right? He wants it on the ground. That's his that's his go-to. Um, you know, maybe he thought if I could get this first round, obviously trying to get the finish. But if not, I'm going to wear. I'm just going to 
bring this guy in to uh, drown him in the deep waters and maybe second, third round will be much easier to get the finish. But yeah, of course, you know, you got to harness all skill sets and, 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 you know, you can't just rely on one thing because some fights, some things can go your way. And, you know, if you want to get the fight, then you can't get it there. You're in big trouble, but he's doing a good job right now. And he's got one hook in, has the back and he's going to come up a little high. But Aaron's doing a good job. He might shake him off here. He does. Roglu now ends up on top of Bonfroni. Manages to find a way out and on top again in seconds. Yeah, Erhan did a great job there of getting up and getting out of, out of danger, but that little split hesitant second of kind of hanging around in that, that space, uh, Mosgrav was able to get close to him and get it back to the mat. Now he's in side control here. He's going to look to step over. Now he's a full mount. Might give, up, give up his back again. Both hooks in. Looking for the Mataleon, the rear naked choke. Less than a minute remaining in the opening frame. Vazgros is a guy that, that okay, beat Tom okay. Breeze in a grappling match, so no, he's okay. very, very high level grappler. Not a spot you want to be in with him on your back. Tom Breeze, a very talented martial artist. Uh, he doesn't have it under the neck, but he does have it across the face, and this just sucks. This is a the, the face crank. It just it's just pressure on your jawline and your nose and, and your teeth and miserable. And Josh, when we seen that guys have that specific skill set of that. Jiu-jitsu, combat grappling, sometimes that's all you need. That squeeze across the chin, and you can get the tap. Well, yeah, we've seen it before numerous times. You know, hey! Even with the right you know, keep him, you know, keep his spirits up and saying, you're doing a great job. You just took, just like when somebody hits you, you took his best shot. Now, you know, that's all he has, you know. Um, but, yeah, you know, not a great start there for Aaron. He kind of backed himself up in, on the wall, and now he's back dealing with this again, with this this monster of a man on his hips trying to take him down and submit him. So this is tiring, this is tedious, and uh, we'll, we'll see if he can keep continuing defending this. Ross Groney, a powerful middleweight, as he continues to employ the same strategy, very grappling-centric, trying to control the legs, control the hip, inch his way closer and closer to a better position. Yeah, you can tell Frederick is such a high level because, like you said, inch by inch, he just kind of works his way up and slowly, like quicksand, just kind of kind of drowns you. And uh, and that's what he's doing. He's not making any crazy, you know, uh, action-packed moves. He just slowly, you know, strategically working his way up the body. Now he's stepping over in a full mount, and it just, Aaron's in a bad spot now. Mosgroni trying to crush his opponent. Make Okuruglu carry his weight. Exhaust him. And that's also where, where submissions do come easier, you know. Um, people start giving things up out of exhaustion, out of fatigue, you know, that, that, that makes mistakes. That's how we, when we get tired, we do stupid things. And uh, we'll see what here, Aaron might give up his back again. See if Bosgrom can utilize this. Some more and, strikes from the top position. I think he's hunting for that head and arm choke now. That's Push it, it across. Like. And I think he's going to look to step over. He might even be able to finish it from mount, but he might, he's going to want to step over. The cage might be some hindrance here. I don't know if it's going to... Oh, uh, there is the step over. Oh, but Aaron follows him. He's aware of what he's trying to do. But as you pointed out, the cage is there. And the tap comes. There it is. Yeah. Wow. Freddy. Boscrone, as advertised, showcased his grappling and jiu-jitsu ability to get the job done in round number two. I guess the hype is real. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called an end to this contest in the second minute of the second round, declaring a victor by tap out. Give it up for your winner from the blue corner, Frederic Boscrone! What you, what you gonna do? Hey. 